started off, I came to Freshman Fest. Um, I was a member of FISH. I was the co-chair for Hall for Hunger. I was a member of the development committee. I had a short ride in social teams. I don't know how to put it. Um, <laughs> and now I'm on Hello Exec. I was also the co-chair for Mega Shabbat. Favorite, one of my favorite memories was when I was on, when development committee first got started, and it was a small group of us. Um, and a lot of the members now have graduated, but we really, we went through a bunch of old things from past years and being able to connect with people who were at Hillel in the past and kind of share that bond. And that's still kind of leading into now we have a bunch of speaker events and people who come in from the community who were passionate about Hillel and now are so passionate about Hillel. And I think it's cool to see, you know, kind of connect the past and the present and how much Hillel is meant to people um, right now and over the years. I think my favorite holiday is Sukkot. Um, we all come together to build the sukkah and decorate it and different student groups work on that and we come up with so many creative um, events for it. So example, pizza in the hut. Um, we order pizza and we all eat it in the sukkah and I think I met a few of my friends my freshman year at, at that event and I'm still really close with so it's kind of a cool memory to be able to um, celebrate that and it's something too that I've enjoyed learning more about because we always have a sukkah at home but we don't, you know, we shake the lulav and all of that but it's been great learning more about what the holiday of Sukkot is and especially from other students on campus who celebrate it in a different, I'm personally reformed so it's, it's been neat to watch people who are orthodox and conservative and see how they celebrate that holiday. grown so much as a leader. You know, in high school I was really involved with BBYO, um, which is the B'nai B'rith Youth Organization, and um, a few other leadership things, but I think being here with the mentorship of the staff and being able to kind of work one-on-one -on -one with staff members to help other students grow is definitely something. Um, also, when I worked here this summer, I got to sit in on a lot of really cool development sessions and learn about all sorts of different things about the Jewish community um, and learn how to network and Oh, um, making phone calls. I have, I have to say, that's probably one of, I was really nervous about it, um, but since doing development work and phone -a -thon, I think that's one of those assets that you can always bring up in an interview and really valuable whether you're asking for money, but more importantly just for interpersonal connections because in the workforce and um, volunteer world and essentially everywhere you need to learn phone etiquette and I think that's something that I've become so confident with here at Hillel and wouldn't be otherwise. Mom and I, uh, <laughs> freshman year, she insisted I come to Freshman Fest. I was really, really nervous. I got out of the car and I said, I'm going to do this, but I'm not going to stay the night. Um, and at 11 p.m., and they said, we'll come pick you up, but if you change your mind, you know, feel free to stay. And at 11, I texted them and I said, I have friends. Um, and that text, to this day, they say it's one of the best things they've ever gotten. Um, and to that extent, too, kind of with services, I was afraid to come to um, Friday night services on my own um, because... You know, it was a little bit scary. I didn't know if I'd have people to sit with. And my mom asked me every, you know, are you going to go tomorrow? Are you going to go tomorrow? And I'd say, oh, my friends are going to dinner. I'd rather do that. And finally, one Friday night, um, a girl texted me about going with her. And I went, and I had the most amazing time. And it was funny because I didn't text my mom all night. Cause, and she was like, oh, she probably hates me for making her go. I'm sure she <laughs> had a miserable time. And ever since then, that had kind of been, you know, my Friday night thing. And it's, it's a huge, you know, whether or not you go to services and dinner or whether you go just to dinner, there's always something to do afterwards. You know, the seniors include the freshmen in their plans. It's a really welcome, welcoming and warm place and just a good place to be. And for me, it's so much about family and being together and um, just getting to do that. And that's definitely something that I want to do when I'm older is continue to, you know, it's going to be really important for, my, for me when my kids one day go to, college, I want them to be members of Hillel, and I want them to be part of that Jewish community and kind of um, just the values and all of that. And I think Hillel really embodies all of that and helps um, to teach students kind of what that's all about. I guess just how thankful I am that like everyone in Hillel has been there for me the past four years, and I like can't even begin to explain what it's done for my college experience. and. Um, the staff and the students are so incredible. And it's not only, you know, it's not only just about Hill. I remember Michael Simon, I was having, you know, like some issue freshman year, as all freshmen does. And Michael, you know, wanted to get coffee and talk about that. And it wasn't about Hillel or how he could get me involved. It was about about me and about my life. And they just really genuinely, it's a close-knit community. It's just such an amazing place to be. And I'm so sad to leave it. But I'm not leaving it. It's always here. So. <laughs>
<laughs> what do I say? Go cat!